नमस्कार इंडिया मेटोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट वेलकम यू इन डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग सो द एक्टिव मॉनसून कंडीशंस विगरस मॉनसून कंडीशंस इन फैक्ट ओवर द केरला कोस्टल कर्नाटका एंड कोस्टल महाराष्ट्र इज लाइकली टू कंटिन्यू ड्यूरिंग नेक्स्ट टू डेज एंड देयर आफ्टर इट विल ग्रेजुएट इट विल इट विल डिक्रीज सिग्निफिकेंटली and also the monsoon active monsoon conditions over the entire country which 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 is uh, seen currently is likely to continue during next 3 uh, days now if you look into the synoptic systems today so we have a cyclonic circulation yesterday cyclonic circulation over west central bay of bengal is today lying over uh, north east and adjoining east central bay of bengal and extending up to middle tropospheric levels and there is a shear zone from this uh, cyclonic circulation Uh, roughly along 15 degree of latitude across the north peninsular india and offshore trough is active from south gujarat coast to the north kerala coast and also the mon- monsoon trough is to the south of its normal position running from bikaner uh, going uh, from bikaner it is going into guna and there for there after it is going to amikapur of chatisgarh and then it is going to uh, balasore of north odisha and uh, from there going into the Uh, uh north east and adjoining east central bay of bengal so under the influence of uh, this uh, uh, shear zone and the active uh, uh, active uh, offshore trough as we had predicted yesterday that over kerala we had predicted extremely heavy rainfall so uh, over the iduki district of kerala 19 cm rainfall and very to uh, uh, heavy to very heavy rainfall has been realized over uh, many districts of kerala so for next 5 days if we look over kerala then iduki district is likely to continue to receive extremely heavy rainfall at isolated places today and heavy to very heavy rainfall at isolated places with light to moderate rainfall at most places is very likely over kasaragod kannur vayanad kozhikod mallapuram palakkad trishur ernakulam uh, uh, ernakulam allapuja kottayam and uh, patnam thitta and uh, uh, by tomorrow this rainfall intensity would decrease and there is likelihood of heavy to very heavy rainfall over kasaragod kannur vayanad kozhikod mallapuram and heavy rainfall is likely over palakkad trishur ernakulam kottayam uh, allapuja and patnam thitta uh, and also iduki is likely to continue to receive heavy to very heavy rainfall at isolated places with the moderate rainfall at most places tomorrow and from day 3 as we can see the graphics of kerala districts that the rainfall is likely to significantly reduce over the region and over maharashtra uh, extremely heavy rainfall is likely today over sindhudurg district over coastal maharashtra and heavy to very heavy rainfall is likely over raigad pune ratnagiri satara and kolapur and heavy rainfall is likely at isolated places over palghar thane and mumbai and by tomorrow as we can see ratnagiri and raigad are likely to receive extremely heavy falls at isolated places with heavy to very heavy rainfall and moderate rainfall at most places and palghar uh, thane nasik uh, pune and satara and kolapur and sindhudurg are likely to receive uh, uh, heavy to very heavy rainfall by tomorrow so rainfall intensity uh, would be decreasing after that on 7th of uh, uh, july over palghar raigad ratnagiri and satara would be receiving heavy to very heavy rainfall and heavy rainfall is uh, likely over the uh, district of uh, uh, mumbai and and thane and uh, and uh, 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 there after the uh, rainfall intensity over the districts of konkan and uh, uh, uh ghat areas of madhya maharashtra is likely to decrease from uh, uh, likely to decrease from 7th of july and if we look into uh, vidarbha districts then buldhana washim yavatmal uh, are likely to receive uh, heavy to very heavy rainfall at isolated places today and uh, uh, and um, amravati nagpur vardha and uh, chandrapur and gadh chiroli are likely to receive isolated heavy rainfall and also uh, moderate uh, rainfall uh, uh, moderate rainfall at uh, many to most places is likely to over vidarbha during the next two days and by tomorrow amravati vardha and yathmal likely to receive heavy to very heavy rainfall and buldhana akola nagpur and chandrapur and gadh chiroli are likely to receive isolated isolated heavy rainfall and with moderate rainfall at uh, many to most places then as we can see that the shear zone is there uh, roughly along 15 degree of uh, northern latitude and it is likely to shift gradually northward 
then it it would enhance the rainfall activity over the Gujarat state also and as we can see that heavy rainfall activity is likely over the southern districts of uh, Saurashtra as well as uh, Gujarat uh, on, on today and tomorrow but on, on 7th of July as we can see Amreli, Bhavnagar and Anand are likely to receive isolated extremely heavy uh, falls and Surendranagar, Botad, Bharuj, Surat, Navsari and Valsad are likely to receive isolated heavy too, very heavy rainfall and over uh, Rajkot, Junagar, Gir Somnath, Vado Odra, Chota, uh, Udaipur, Narmada, Tapi and Dang are likely to receive uh, along with Ahmedabad are likely to receive isolated heavy rainfall and uh, light to moderate rainfall at uh, many to most places is likely uh, over uh, the over entire Gujarat uh, on, on, on 7th of July as well as on 8th of July. On 8th of July this uh, rainfall region extremely heavy fall region would be slightly shifting uh, uh, northward especially towards the uh, Kutch region and uh, uh, there would be likelihood of uh, isolated extremely heavy falls over Kutch and Jamnagar on 8th of July and uh, Banas Kanta, Patan, Sabar Kanta, Devbhumi, Dwarka and Porbandar uh, would be likely to receive isolated heavy to very heavy rainfall and more be Rajkot, Surendnagar, Ahmedabad and the southern districts of uh, uh, Gujarat region, Vadodara, Bharu, Surat, Navsari and Valsad would be likely to receive isolated heavy rainfall. Then if you come over to uh, uh, UP uh, rainfall scenario, so as uh, predicted yesterday, heavy to very heavy rainfall has occurred over uh, the uh, Sajahapur and uh, adjoining districts of uh, uh, East UP and West UP uh, today and today again there is likelihood of uh, during next 24 hours over Bareilly, Pilibhit, Lakhimpur, Khiri, Shah, uh, Shahjahanpur, Hardoi, Sitapur, uh, uh, Bahraic, Sravasti, Balrampur, uh, Gonda, Basti and Barabanki isolated heavy to very heavy rainfall uh, and, and heavy rainfall as we can see over here <coughs> that over the districts of uh, from Bijnor, Amroha, Rampur, Sambal, Badayu, Kannauj, uh, Farukhavad and uh, and uh, from there uh, up to uh, the entire almost all districts of uh, East UP are likely to receive isolated heavy rainfall and light to moderate rainfall at most places is likely to uh, occur over East UP during next uh, three to four days. Then if you come over to uh, uh, the other uh, synoptic, uh, other uh, uh, expected rainfall scenario, then as we can, uh, we, are, we are expecting a western disturbance which is likely to affect northwest India from the night of, uh, uh, night of 8th of, uh, uh, 8th of uh, July and uh, then this western disturbance is likely to interact with the monsoonal winds and it is very likely to cause heavy to very heavy rainfall uh, spell over the entire region of uh, Punjab, Haryana, Chandigarh, uh, West UP, uh, Jammu Kashmir, Ladakh, Gilgit, Baltistan, Mujaffarabad, Himachal Pradesh and Uttarakhand. So on 8th, on, on 9th especially, there is likelihood of heavy to very heavy rainfall over uh, Jammu Kashmir, Ladakh, Gilgit, Baltistan, Mujaffarabad at isolated places with the Himach and Himachal Pradesh also and uh, Uttarakhand uh, 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 also will be included in that region and also heavy to uh, heavy heavy to very heavy rainfall is likely there uh, on, on uh, uh, 9th of July over Haryana over uh, Punjab Haryana and West UP uh, on 9th of July so we can look into the uh, district wise rainfall distribution uh, rainfall intensity distribution uh, likelihood over Himachal Pradesh so as we can see uh, over Himachal Pradesh the districts of the districts of Kangda, Mandi, uh, Kullu and uh, Kullu and uh, 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 Shimla are likely to receive isolated heavy to very heavy rainfall on uh, on 9th of July and uh, all these districts except uh, Lahol and Spiti and and Kinnor are likely to continue to receive isolated heavy rainfall during next five days and today also the districts of Bilaspur, uh, Bilaspur, uh, Solan, Shimla and Sirmor are likely to receive isolated heavy to very heavy rainfall and uh, light to moderate rainfall at most places would continue over the all the districts of Himachal Pradesh during next five days. So that's all for today. Tomorrow we will again meet with Delhi weather briefing for weather warning during next five days. Thank you and goodbye.